Hey guys, this is Dr. Subhadra Ramnani and welcome to another video on this channel about USMLE and specifically USMLE Step 1 Self-Assessment Exams. This is a whole guide where we will cover everything, the NBME self-assessments and he will tell you about UWSAs, free 120s, etc. What score you should plan to get before sitting the exams, when to take these exams and etc. And so we'll cover everything. So sit tight and yeah, let's begin. So first of all, what are these NBME self-assessment exams? So NBME stands for National Board of Medical Examiners. So these are basically the people who make your USMLE Step 1, Step 2, Step 3, etc. And et so they have made the self-assessment exam. So as you can say, they make the paper which you're going to sit for and they are making these self-assessment exams. So it makes it pretty much uh, very very high yield very very important to take these exams before you actually sit for the exam so currently there are seven self-assessment exams from nbme 25 to nbme 31 for usmd step one so that is 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 seven self-assessment exams when i took the exam back in february 2023 there were only six self-assessments from NBME 25 to NBME 30. Now there are seven and I will tell you how and when to give take these self-assessment exams. And yeah, there are also UWSs, which you probably know U World is a high yield and, uh, you know, the most gold standard question bank you should be using for your preparation for USMLE step one. I already have a video about what resources you should use for the USMLE step one and you can check it out somewhere here i'll link it in the cards and below the like button so uw's essays are from the u world question bank uh, not from the question bank from u world uh, separate from the question bank so there are two self-assessments from u world now there is also something called as free 120s these are just 120 questions available for free uh, to you and yes i'll tell you more about these so starting with the nbme so nbmes are actually uh, they are not free, they are paid, they cost $60 each if you want to take them and I highly 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 recommend you should take them if not all at least most of them because they are kind of steep $60. So when should you take these self-assessment exams? I would say when you are uh, doing your UWorld question bank in towards the end uh, I, sh I think you can start taking these self-assessment exams because there are seven of these so you can spread them out you don't need to take them one by one in the end you can spread them out so first you can start when you are then about uh, you know three-fourths of your world so when you've completed 75 percent of your world question bank you can start with one nbme then you can give uh, then you can take a self-assessment exam when you're done with 85 percent then you can take when you've completed the U world question bank and then you can take the U world self-assessment exams one and two there are two of them and then you can take the remaining nbmes and in the last you can take the free 120s so why did i tell you to or why did i recommend you to take it in this order because uh, the pattern for the exam in my opinion most closely resembles to the free 120 so i would highly recommend you to take free 120 towards the end and at least resembles the uwss so i would say when you complete the u world question bank just take these u world essays they might not uh, have a good pattern predictor for the exam but i can definitely tell you the score prediction uh, which I got from UWSS was probably I think spot on accurate. You will never know that because US, USMLE step one is pass fail. But I felt uh, the score which UWSA gave me in the end that was highly predictable of where I stand currently. The NBMEs don't give you a three digit score. So they give you a percentage and they also give you a likely percentage of your of you passing the self uh, of you passing the USMLE step one if you take it in the next one week so let's say it will give you something like you took the exam that you got um, you know 65 or 70 percent questions correct you have 95 percent chance of passing the exam if you take it in the next one week uh, so this is what uh, this is how they give you the result the NBMEs whereas the UWSs they give you a proper score 
based on the curve they have set uh, because there are so many you know test takers they have their own algorithm and the curve i think is brilliantly set and the score prediction you get is um, at least for me it was i think it was a good prediction and i landed up there only at least i think so because it's pass fail anyway so this is why i told you to or i recommended you to take it in these orders you can take first 3 nbme starting from 75% of u world and 85 then after you complete u world then you can take the uwsas and then you can take the remaining nbmes and towards the end just one week before your exam take the free 120 so um hypothetically or if i had to set an nbme order knowing the difficulty status of these nbmes i would set up uh, set it up something like this i would start with nbme 25 then i would move on to nbme 27 then i would move on to nbme 26 then i would move on to nbme 29 then 30 then 28 which is also the most difficult uh, and then in towards the end nbme 31 in terms of pattern as i said free 120 is the most predictive uh pattern wise uh at least according to me for your usmle step 1 exam so definitely take that towards the end and so there's an option you can take free 120 right at home for free or you can also take this exam at the pro metric center so this pro metric center is where you're going to take the usmle step 1 so you can actually pay a fee to the prometric i think it's about 100 dollars or something uh, and you can go to the prometric where you will take the actual usmle step 1 exam and you can take your free 120 self assessment there so i took it that way because uh, to be honest i did not have any one to tell me first hand experience about how the like you know everything the setting is uh basically the guidance i was for me it was mostly online and uh maybe i asked couple of people but i did not get any first hand guidance about you know this is where you go this is like these are the lockers this and that so i decided to pay these uh, this 100 dollars and take the free 120 at the prometric center and i feel it was a great experience uh because when i went to took the exam i knew everything because i was already accustomed to the place before uh, also i knew how early to leave my place uh, to reach on time uh, you know where to keep the food and plan accordingly so there are a lot of benefits uh, if you take the free 120 at the prometric center if you are you know if you have some exam anxiety that may you know taking the exam at the prometric may help uh, this also but it's completely up to you you can definitely take it at home as most people do because it's free there's no point paying you know for it because it's available for free officially but just if you want the experience before step 1 exam and you are really clueless i would say um, you can take it at the prometric center so this was about whole guide of of usmle step 1 self assessment so this is what you should target uh, especially your last two three self assessment exams should be in this target range if not all of them because definitely you might start low but the last two three exams you take should be ideally above 65 70 75 uh, so yeah that's about it and if you have any other questions about the self assessment exams for usmle step 1 drop them down in the comment section below If this video really helped you out, share it with your friends. Give it a like. It really helps out the channel. It's free for you. Um, like a free self-assessment exam. That's about it. See you later. Bye bye.